mature. Dogs just mature. Some mature slower. He just had to have some time to think about it. And the thing about him is, he sounds like he's got a little more of a thinking brain like his mother and didn't get the sisters who have all the bite. Yeah. Those suckers, they, she'll probably have to, probably won't make trialing dogs. Those suckers will be dogs they'll take out somewhere where you got badass cows and those cows will straighten them up or kill them. You know, those dogs will learn. Yeah. But, you know, that she, that's for tougher stuff. And it takes an awful lot to handle shit like that. Right. I've got, I've got, I've got that in the young dog. He just, you know, everything needs to be, you know, he's gonna figure it out. Yeah. Club him enough. <laughs> Clobber him. All right. Now, Newt has been very patient here. Okay. Last week we sent him out in that big pasture and we let him go get stuff. Okay. Today I'm gonna let you stay where you're at and. You can't look down at him, and when you get ready to tell him, I just want one big deep get up. But I want you to bring your stick out in the right hand and just kind of wave it at the sheep. Let's see what he's going to do and see if he won't bring them all to you. Now, focus on them. You're going to sound tough when you say it. Pick that stick up with your right hand real quick and wave it up in the air at these sheep and type, get up. Get up. Keep waving it. Get up. Get up. Keep waving it. Keep waving it. Get up. Now take a few steps toward the sheep. Get up. Get now, up. Just watch. That's all he needed from you. Don't go any farther. He told you that's all he needed. Now, just watch. Get up. Get you up. Gotta tell him. He's gotta go out there and gather. There you go. Now back up to the gate. Okay, good. Good. Now, I want you to sort them one at a time. Because this takes patience and skill on the dog's part. Just one at a time. Get. Get. Watch them when you tell him. Because I don't believe he's going to push them too hard when they get there. I think he'll check himself up to the all the past. See, you wouldn't want to tell him to get in custom anymore now because he just explode around. So they're all right there for him. When they don't want to sort, that's when you your breath and tell him to get them. Because if they see him move, they'll start reporting. There's a deer. Yeah, there's eight of them out here all the time. Huh? They've been eating my mineral at night. I think yeah. this last year. That's what's going on. I wish someone would shoot them bitches. Another one. There's about eight of them. They, 
They stomp at my dog at the fence when I send him out. Now, now listen. If you stayed over here and you give them somewhere to report, how are you going to open the gate? But see, if you're here, when you open the gate, you're in the way for them to get out. Yes? Yeah. That's what I want. Okay. Now, open the gate towards you and slip through there. Those are the two twins from this last year. Now, now, now you open the gate. It's lost. It's lost. Is this you one open at a time? It? Huh? Is this one at a time or just all of them? Well, how many can fit down that thing? Well, one at a time. <laughs> there you go. So, and if you, the too many come at you, they'll push the gate against you. Now, just now, you stand in the hole so they don't see daylight. There you go. They know how to do this. It's a matter whether they want to. That deer went all the way up around that house. It's still running. Now, no. say, get up. Get up. Now, put a stop on Stay. Get them all over. Because the dough's not in there. Now don't say here. He comes to you, the lambs run back. Didn't you say here? Yeah, I did. Okay. You don't really want him. It's a get up. Get up. Now it's time to stay. Stay. Because you don't want to let him miss it. You, if he comes too much to the that corner, they might run back. They're trying, these dummies are trying to figure this out. Now, say get up. Get up. You, now stop him. Stay. Now, stop him. You know something he's doing different that he hadn't been doing? Tell me what it is he's able to do this morning that he hadn't been able to do. He's done it to it for you twice now. What is it? Go in the corner and bring the sheep and step to the barn. Before he stood here and he didn't know how to take himself to that barn to move him down, did he? The other place he gets stuck is right here at this gate sometimes, knowing how to move him, right? Yeah. He's learning, isn't he? Now, say, say, get up. Keep telling him. Get up. Get up. Because it's going to get dicey. They didn't follow anybody. Get up. Now just wait a second. Somebody's got to take the move and the other one will go with it. So, say get up. Get up. Get up. Carol has to be careful. They're scared of her too. <laughs> that deer run all over her. Say get up. Get up. Look at them. There's three. Those are all good. Here comes another one around that house. Get up. Get up. Can you see him up there, Adam? There's one getting right there. Now, now open it on up and let him out. Here. See this other one working in there? Yeah. Now, push the gate in. Now, walk back out towards the sheep. Just walk out that way. Now, stand there. Now wave the stick in the air like you did a while ago without looking at him and tell him, get up. Yeah. Keep saying. Get up. Yeah. Keep telling. Get up. You may cross over, but that's okay. Now, tell him, get up. Get up. Now come to the gate, Carol, and stand next to the gate. Now get on this side of it. Now watch out there. Is he, is he balancing? Get up. Get up. Because you want them all brought back in. I'll shut the gate and call him. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I don't call him while I'm shutting the gate at him, he's liable to run around the mm. back and run him over you while you're trying to get the gate. You run him right up your back. Now, what? Somebody lost the collar. It just fell off right there? Yeah. Is it a green collar? Yeah. yeah. I'm having trouble with that. It's a brand new collar. It fits up tight. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't know what's going on. All right, now, we're going to come up this way. Tell him to stay. Grab that collar and lay it in that pipe bucket. Stay. And I'm going to have you. This is the other direction. Stay. Stay. Off him. Just off him. Off. 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 Now, now he. Stay. See, when I say it like that, it kind of makes him think, well, he might not want to mess with you. Yeah. yeah, just plunk it down in that bucket. I'm going to have to figure that out. I might have to put a piece of duct tape around it. That one right there. Yeah, it's a wither. It's one I'm going to keep. Those are brand new, two brand new bright green collars marking the withers that I'm going to, so I'll always know my withers from my ewe lambs when I'm sorting the train. All right, now, you're going to work the gate one at a time. Now, as you look down at him, say get up, and you're thinking, well, I, don't get after him. He heard me when I said, now, start showing him. You don't want him to pass you. 
Just keep showing. Keep the, don't hold it a long time. Just keep it there. That's like that. Like that. There you go. Just keep letting them out. Because that way they'll hang there and stay. If I shut it too long, they'll, they'll try to find another way out. There you go. There you go. Because you know how you'd have to do that with calves and try to catch them in the head gate. That's it. Now open it real quick. Show that one, see? While those two turned around, couldn't get out. Now show that next and see how that works. But no, just stand there. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> now, what you didn't know behind your back was your dog didn't stand there like um, that lamb run down there. I don't know what to do. Yeah. What did he do, Adam? He went down there and got him. He balanced down there and made that lamb come back, or that lamb would have still been standing there looking through that board fence at his buddy mm -hmm. to get away from you and the dog. But the dog said, I believe, say, doing some of this little stuff here like repetition, this dog is picking up. He said, you know, when they get up there to her, I don't need to get any closer unless she asks me. And when you did ask him, he has enough sense that he stays back and he allows you room to sort unless somebody's not coming. And then you kind of get. Yeah. And you're here, here, get. And he takes a few steps, but then he doesn't go overboard and then run them off and run them, pile them up on each other, does he? Right. Pretty nice, huh? What do you think? It's pretty awesome. He's coming along. Yeah, he is. Because the next time we work him, we need to go back and do some cross driving again. Okay. But one can't just keep doing that same thing over and over right. and over. Dog's gonna, if there was something in it that he didn't like, it'll be the first thing on his mind when he shows up. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So I don't want to make him get in that worry zone or him go, oh, anticipating something's bad. It's like, well, we're gonna go out here and work in your instinct a little bit. Go get, get this stuff. Now, he did cross over out here. He, did. he didn't here. Okay. But here's the way I look at that. If I worry about what it's going to look like on the front end, after I've got this far in training, and I just want him to get some confidence to go out and cover ground. If I start messing around with him a lot on how to do it, sometimes I'll lose the, the better part of the dog that he won't take the risk to go at all. I need him to think about, oh man, I can go out there. And then after I've got him going, I could start working a little bit on telling him how I wanted him to do it, right? Because the bottom line is, if you're on the farm, you don't care how he does it. You right. just want to get it up there, right? Yeah. It can't be fancy. It's not like the, it's not like the trial people. So anyway, I think I'd stop and I'll, let me let me sort these. What? Let's see. No. Bring them in. Problem is, there's more than there's more than two green collared sheep now. I need those two green collar ewes. Actually, I was, let me think, I was gonna put a lamb. Why don't you let me do it? Yeah. I'm gonna get a ewe and a lamb, two ewes and that lamb, and, and a lamb, and I'm gonna let this puppy work, okay? okay? Yeah. Because with a lamb, we're gonna have some things popping like popcorn out there a little bit.